so hello everyone in this tutorial i'm going to make digital clock using python so here what we are going to use we are going to use tick enter here for all the widget which will be button check button and read frame but we are not going to here use any button and all we are just going to use here label so let's dive into the code so i'm creating new project here like digital clock one eternity later yeah so now we will delete all the codes here so here i'm dividing my co code into three parts first we will import all the packages which we'll use in this project and the second part we will create the ui of digital clock and the third part is we will define the function which will run our digital clock so let's get started here from tick enter we are importing all the all the modules and here the main thing is ttk which where we will use all the things and the last thing is time which we will use or showing time in our digital clock yeah that's it so first step is completed we have imported all the packages here now the second step we are going to create the ui first what we are going to do we are going to give the title of our clock suppose i am giving here my digital clock yeah so title is set so now the next step what we are going to do we are going to create one label which will show in our digital clock so i'm naming as like uh, clock label here so here what we are going to do we are going to give a label to that clock passing the root here suppose i am giving the font here like arial you can choose any font here and giving the size of that font suppose i am giving here like around 100 and i am giving the foreground color here which will suppose we are taking here like blue yeah so that's it now our ui is created what we have done we have just given the title of that clock and we are creating a label which will present in our clock so now what we have to do we have to pack all this ui into one label so what you are going to do here clock label dot pack and we will anchor it in into the middle so what we are going to do we are going to do like center so now, now it will show in the center yeah that's it so now the next step we have to write a function for the time which will show the time every second it will change the time so here i'm creating one function suppose i'm like time here and the time string i am creating here time string like time here so we have to pass the format so here i am taking the format as hour minute and here i am taking as second and also pm or am so we have to conf config this string into our UI. So what we have to do, we have to just call our clock label here, clock label dot config, and that text should pass into time string. Yeah. So every time this time will be so, but 
time should be changed in every second so what we have to do we have to call here the recursive function here so what we are going to do we are going to do like clock label here clock label dot after every one second it should call our time function so what this are going to do so every one second when interpreter will come this line it will call the time function here so again this time function will call and it will run so again this second will change so every one second this second time will be changed which will show in our string hope you get this point if you have any question can you let me know in the comment section so that's it now we just need to call our time function and main loop here yeah that's it now we are going to run this program yeah you can see here it is in the, in the middle and time is every second it is calling the time function again and again so i hope you like this video if you have any question can you let me know in the comment section i hope i have cleared all the lines very clearly if still you want to explain any particular line i will kindly let me know then i will explain again here what i have did i have divided my code into three part first is i have imported all the things second i created the ui and third the time function which will show the time so here i have given the format of the time and showing that time string into our clock label which is in our ui and every one second it will call our time function again and again is it is recursive function so at the end what we have did we have just called the time function so you can also find the code in the description if you have any question kindly let me know thank you so much guys for watching this video